In this sweep picking for beginners lesson, we're going to start with two string sweeps and go all the way up to six strings. So let's start here with two strings. So we're going to start at the eighth fret on the B string. This is a G note here. Real simple pattern here. Eighth fret on the B string. Pick that with a down stroke. Seventh fret on the high E string. B note there. Tenth fret on the high E string with an upstroke D note. G, B, D. So down, down, up. G, B, D. G major arpeggio. So the picking again is down, down, up on that 10th fret. Down, down, up. So practice that. And you want to like hold most of the pick, uh, just a little bit sticking out there at the end. Down, down, up. You can see I'm lifting my fingers as I go. I don't want it blending in. I don't want the notes to blend in or bleed in together like I want. And next we can try a different pattern here, moving up to the uh, 10th fret on the B string there. For an A minor arpeggio, this is an A note. We're gonna go. So 10 on B, eight on high E. 12 on the high E string there. G major. A minor. And then we can do a B diminished starting at the 12th fret on the B string, a B note there. 10th fret on high E. 13th fret on the high E. And then up to C major here, 13th fret on the B string, a C note, 12th fret on the high E, 15th fret on the high E. So that's the simplest pattern there, down, down, up. Now we can do a variation here. We can go down, down, up, and then pull off. So 8th fret of B, 7, 10, pulls off to the high E. Pick is still down, down, up. The next A minor pattern. B diminished pattern. C major pattern. Now the next variation we can do is starting with the upstroke. So I'm going to go back to this G major shape again, 10th fret on the high E string, upstroke with a pull off to the 7th fret, and then down on the 8th fret here on the B string. So it's, this sounds like, so upstroke, down, down, upstroke, down, down. Same notes, but a different uh, variation there gives a different sound. Now we're on to three stringed arpeggios. Starting with the uh, G major here. I'm starting with an upstroke. Upstroke on the 10th uh, fret, pull off to seven. Upstroke on the 8th uh, fret of the B string. And then downstroke on the 7th fret on the G. And then back down. One, two, three, one, two, three. The notes are in groups of three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So up, up, down, down, down. When you're sweeping, when you're going up, you, you, you tilt your pick in that way. And when you're going down, you tilt your pick the other way. And this is a bit exaggerated. But remember, we're holding most of the pick as well. 
sometimes I use just the side of my hand to mute the strings that aren't being played. Everything uh, takes some feel to get used to uh, as you're practicing along. Now we'll go to the A minor arpeggio. 12th fret pulls off to 8th. Middle finger comes up and hits that 10th fret on the B string with an upstroke. And then 9th fret on G. Downstroke. And then back down that pattern. 9, 10, 8 on E. Now we'll play that B diminished arpeggio. Which is 13th fret on the uh, E string. Pulls off to 10, 12 on the B, 13 on G. And then back down. And then finally we'll get to that C major arpeggio. 15, 12, 13 on B, 12 on G. And this comes from that C major chord shape. Um, if you know your C major chord shape over here. Over here we have and we'll get to that later in the uh, five string arpeggios. There's one more three string arpeggio shape I'd like to show you which is another minor shape here. So if I had like a B minor chord which would be like seventh fret 7th fret, ninth fret on the A and D strings. And down here we have this. So B minor over here would be like... All on the 7th fret. 7, 7, 7, 10. And then back up. And when you're doing that here, you've got a finger roll going on there. So we don't get that um, sound where the notes are blended in. We don't want that, we want... So I'm doing the finger roll as best as I can here, so the notes don't bleed into each other. And if I took this back two frets, that would give us an A minor arpeggio over here. Twelfth fret that would give us E minor arpeggio. Down, 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 up, up. Down, 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 up, up. And I'll show you another E minor arpeggio shape, which would be starting here. We have an E minor chord at the seventh fret. At the uh, A string here, we can do an E minor chord. And this, this pattern, it starts at the um, ninth fret on G, nine, eight, seven. Down, 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 nine, eight, seven. Twelfth fret pull off, if you can do that, to the seventh fret. And then eight, seven. And if you took that all the way up to the fourteenth fret, that gives you an A minor arpeggio. Let's take a quick look at the uh, intro arpeggios I played. I played um, an E minor arpeggio all the way up here starting at the 16th fret on the G string. 16, 17, 15, 19. Then I moved to a D major arpeggio starting at the 14th fret on G. C major arpeggio, 12th fret, starting at the 12th fret on the G. And then a B major arpeggio, starting at the 11th fret on the G there. Ending there at the B note at the uh, 14th fret of the A string.
Now we're going to take a look at four and five stringed arpeggios, something like... And so we're in this G major uh, example again. And I'll just do like an upstroke on the seventh fret, upstroke on the eighth fret of B, upstroke on the seventh fret on G. Now this finger, this ring finger here is going to hit that ninth fret on D. And the pinky is going to reach up to that tenth fret on the A string. Another G note there. That's the root of the arpeggio. So starting from down here, we can go. 10 on A string, 9 on the D, 7 on G, 8, 7. So down, 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 up, 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 up. Sometimes you might want to stop at the 4th fret. Sometimes you want to get to that fifth fret, that root note. Another thing we can do here is start with um, a hammer on from the seventh to the tenth fret. Then we play that ninth fret, eighth fret. Uh, 7th fret on G, 8th fret on B, 7th fret on high E. Pull off to that 10th fret. That's another pattern here. We could also take this pattern up to the 15th fret here to give that C major arpeggio. And this shape here comes from a C major chord. So it's 15th fret, or 12th fret hammers on to 15 if you want. 14th fret on the D, 12th fret on G, 13 on B, that C note again. 12th fret, pull off, 15th fret. So the pick, down, 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 up, 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 up down again. And these are great to uh, practice on these shapes. Let's take a look at the A minor shape here. Um, starting at the 12th fret, pulls off to 8. And we have 10th fret on B, 9th fret on G, and now we're going to hit middle finger, instead of being for the major ones we're here, but we're, we have to go to the 10th uh, the, um, fret on the D string here for the minor arpeggio, and then 12th fret. So it's a bit of a different shape. 12th fret's your A note again. 12, 10, 9. Minor shape. Major shape would be, A major would be 12, 11, 9, then 10th fret, then 9 here instead of 8. Major, A major. A minor. And, uh, if you want to take this a step further, the next note back would be the seventh fret here of the uh, A string. So sometimes uh, people will hammer on from the seven to the twelve. It's a bit of a stretch. See how this? You can let go of the index finger when you get to that, and then ten, nine, ten, eight, twelve.
Let's look at another classic arpeggio shape here, the A minor shape, starting at the 12th fret on the A string here. Nice five string arpeggio shape, taken from the A minor bar chord in this position. So 12, 15 with a downstroke, 14, 14 on D and G. Finger roll here, right? So, this, so the notes don't bleed into each other. 13th fret on the B string, 12th fret on that high E, 17 pull off, 13th fret on the uh, B again, and then this finger roll. I bring this finger to land on both strings, but starting on that uh, 14th fret on G, 14th on D, 15 on the A string. Down, 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 up, up, up. shape I mean also exists along the fretboard here at the uh, seventh fret on the A string that's an E note the uh, E minor um, arpeggio 7 10 9 9 8 7 12 Back to this 12th fret A minor shape. What I did there uh, is I played a 6th string E major shape. So t after the A minor, then we do E major 12 on the E string, 14, 14. 13, 12, 12, taken from an E major bar chord over here. 16th fret pull off here. So we know the E major shape is uh, 12, 14, 14, 13, 12, 12, 16. The E minor shape would be 12, 14, 14, and then 12, 12, 12. 15th fret here. E minor bar chord versus E major bar chord. And, um, Here's another interesting pattern here. If I, if I start at the fifth fret on the A string here, I want to do like, let's say the same kind of thing, A minor arpeggio. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Groups of three again. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. But let's say I wanted to connect that with the next A minor shape over here. So, so five, seven, seven, five, 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 eighth fret slides up to the 12, pulls off to the eighth fret. And we know this shape from before, A minor shape, 10th fret on the B, nine, 10, 12. Here's one more we could try, which it goes like this. That's another cool way to uh, connect the arpeggios of A minor, starting at the fifth fret on the uh, E string. Five, eight, then seven, seven on A and D, then fifth fret to the ninth fret, tenth fret on the B, eight, twelve, uh, ten, nine slides back to five, seven, let me throw in this uh, fifth note on the uh, A string, eighth note on the E string. The 
just adds a different flavor in there. Or that fifth note on the A string, that D note there. So that should give you a lot to work with, with the sweet picking patterns, all the way up to six strings, you know, but the five strings are great too, and so are the three stringed arpeggios. Check out these other arpeggio lessons right here.